Hello guys, welcome to Ask Raglan. Today we're going to see some little auto update on China's Tesla. The company name is called NEO and it's founded by William Lee in uh, 2014, five years ago approximately. And this car manufacturer has got very ambitious plans to take down Tesla. They're not in head and head with Tesla, but they actually got the similar trade plans. So now these car manufacturer um, has got um, list of things that they want to achieve. So first is they have broken a uh, few speed records and they got similar car lineup similar to Tesla. They got a Roadster version, they got a sports car version and then they got a sedan and a CV. A lot of these lineups are similar to what Tesla is doing. So that's one thing. And then they are actually into the game of batteries as well. Um, now if you look at it, Tesla has been in market for the last 15 years or so. So Tesla on the 15 years market, um, they have got quite a bit of growth and last few six months, I think they have got really good growth. If you look at the stock values, they are doing pretty good. Now they have reported losses around four to $5 billion uh, in the last 15 years. Whereas the Chinese manufacturer Neo has reported losses of around 7.4 billion in just a matter of five years. And especially with the last year, they've been doing really, really bad. It's just, it's just a bad time, I guess. Some of the things that happened is, first thing is the trade war. Um, so that is also one of the things which impacted. And the second thing is, um, say they depend wholly on the Chinese market. So on the Chinese market, there is also other players which is taking some market share. And apart from that, the recent incident which has happened, which is Elon Musk has visited China to open a battery factory in, um, in in China, Shanghai, and also a Tesla factory as well. So Tesla is going to do manufacturing in China and start selling in China. So the the way Tesla works is whenever they get into a new market, they give really good offers to grab the market attention. And um, and then they invest quite a lot on R&D. So, so that's going to be pretty tough for NEO in the coming future. So now if you look at NEO, so they have got funding like around over, um, over 100 million recently from Tencent and uh, TPG, the internet provider. A lot of these guys have invested on NEO. And um, so now they're doing pretty um, terrible with the service as well. So last uh, three months ago, they got an incident where they have to call back around 4,800 cars, which was one of the recent models on battery issues and smoking and some of the cars start smoking and things like that. So these were the issues they started having in the recent, um, in the last few recent months and um, which is also affecting the country's uh, company's growth. So that's all for this update guys. Uh, hopefully you like it and uh, we'll catch up on some other video and we'll discuss something else. Thank you.